All right. It is March 19th. And oh, sorry, sorry. I'll keep it down. You're, you're probably nursing a hangover from two days ago. It's a lot easier to drink when you're at home and you got nowhere to drive. So you just keep drinking. Uh, but I got some awesome streams I want to tell you about, including a three day festival that is streaming probably right now as you're watching this. So let's not go. Yes, welcome to another episode of Every Show Joe Says Not Go, helping you find live stream music from artists around the Valley of the Sun, around the country, and around the globe from the safety and comfort of your home. Of course, if you're watching this on YouTube, please be sure to like and subscribe, assuming you like and you want to subscribe, but you get notifications when these go live and when anything else I post over there goes live, so you can get that. Plus, I supposedly will get access to more features like ad revenue. But in the meantime, I don't get that. And you can support it another way. If you go to patreon.com forward slash every show, Joe, you can always subscribe that way and give me a little money every month. Appreciate anything. Uh, also, I got shirts over at every So you can go there and check out that stuff. Really cool. Plus, actually, while you're there, you can go check out a little link that I contributed to in the Houston Press uh, by Jesse Sendejas Jr. Hopefully I pronounced that right. Apologize if I didn't. But yeah, talking about how awesome the end of the night at a concert is and how that's really what we miss. So I kind of chime in with some of my thoughts and why it's really awesome and why, man, I wish it was happening right now. But yeah, so you can find that link over there and yeah, and some pictures and stuff too. I probably should throw out there. Plus also keep an eye on social media, Twitter and well, Instagram stories and stuff. I've been streaming on Twitch. I've been playing some video games. So if you want to hang out talk ask some questions that kind of stuff Just keep an eye on that twitch.tv slash every show joe you can give a follow and get notifications also on that so throw that out there also man what a week and what the fuck is up with this um why is there still fucking well why is there fucking racism in beginning to, at all we shouldn't even have that fucking bullshit but once again we had another fucking hate crime we had ish things happen involving Asian Americans and what, what the fuck? We are all one. We should have equal footing, equal salaries, all of that. No one should be afraid of fucking police brutality because of the color of their skin. None of this bullshit. Um, so just want to say I stand with our Asian American friends and just, yeah. Uh, but if you want... I'm going to throw a link out here. Uh, it's a uh, Stop Asian American and Pacific Islander Hate. If you go to stopaapihate.org slash act now, you can go donate to them. They also have other ways that you can act to help fight against this stupid ass shit. Um, so throw that out there. Of course, speaking of Black Lives Matter, Black Trans Lives Matter, Trans Lives Matter in general, really. Um, but if you want to support that here in Phoenix, you got BLM, PHX, Metro.org, of course. I mean, all of it is important. So go donate where you can to any of these causes and let's fucking get rid of systematic racism and stupid prejudices. What the fuck? Um, of course, also throughout there, our Native Americans can always use your help, especially with COVID-19. I mean, things are getting better, but they can still use some help. So if you go to firstnations.org, you can also go and donate there. And there are all these links out there. I know it's already like, it's just piling up, but all of it important and need to help um uh, but yeah and then of course this is the music show so uh well you're like well how can i support my favorite band or my favorite musician if they are like how are they surviving i'm sure they need some money right and they probably do i mean most of us have day jobs and other stuff but regardless best way to support them is go buy their merch go buy their shirts go buy their cds go buy their Bandcamp albums go buy the vinyls and hell even there's cassettes now you can go get like a single there's 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 a term i just wanted to say a single it's really cool though right a single on a cassette that kind of stuff go find their patreons actually that's another thing that's another big thing giving you access early access to stuff little like acoustic sessions that kind of stuff so you can go support them multiple ways so go look them up that way. Um, of course, other ways to support is National Independent Venue Association, NEVA, and Save Our Stages. 
Uh, I know I've been, I swore, I saw things saying that supposedly they were getting close to dispersing and saw a recent article saying right now venues still aren't seeing that money. So they are still taking donations that they're distributing to your favorite independent venues. So help them stay alive by going to saveourstage.com or the Nevo website too. Like they kind of forward to the same thing. But yeah, they can use your help there and you can support those while they are still trying to stay alive until we can safely open up and do shows. So there is that. Also, there's still GoFundMe's out there for some of your favorite venues like Pub Rock, Marquee, that kind of stuff. Rhythm Room, I think, still has theirs up, so you can support that way. Of course, there's also compilations out there. There's one for the trunk space that was put together by the Coronado, by Related Records, Dark Hall Coffee, uh, featuring awesome national acts, featuring a lot of local acts, 42 tracks on there to be exact, and really cool. Go support the trunk space while the doors are still closed. If you go to thetrunkspace.bandcamp.com, and also while I'm there, let's throw out, they are actually mightycause.com slash organization slash the trunk space. If you just want to donate directly to the trunk space, because maybe you already bought the comp, you know, I'm sure some of you go-getters got it, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah, so throw that out there. Also, Yucca Tap Room, they have an awesome compilation too. Go to yuccataproom.bandcamp.com. You can go pick that one up if you haven't already recorded while the venue was empty, uh, featuring Chip Hanna of TSOL, United X Bombs, US Bombs, One Man Army, like fucking amazing already. And then Jason DeVore of Authority Zero that we fucking love, and Mike Sparrow there. Uh, we got Critical Miss, we've got Still Drunk Still, Sore Eyes, we got Kristen of Miles of Nowhere, Andy of uh, Nito. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, awesome stuff on there. Meatbags on there too. Like, I've done this every week, and I've still, sometimes things escape. But yeah, so yeah, <laughs> there's some ways to support and get some awesome music. Plus, food, right? You, we all got to eat something, and we do kind of like to drink stuff, right? Well, ways to support that way, too. The Rebel Lounge converted to the Reap and Sew Coffee Bar. So you can go there in the morning, get your coffee on, get that caffeine fix in your system, and then drown it out with, you know, some awesome alcohol and stuff in the evening over there they they post their specials over on social media so go check out the rebel loungers on instagram and facebook and all that uh crescent ballroom which has slightly newer hours they're open a little longer now uh it's still wednesday through saturdays wednesday and thursday is gonna be 5 30 to 8 30 but fridays and saturdays they're now open till 10 so you can get takeout in patio dining or get delivery from there through your favorite delivery app. So cool ways to support there. And then, yeah, of course, Yucca Tap Room will also, I mean, we talk about Crescent having awesome tacos, and they do. But there's also Yucca has awesome tacos and other stuff, like the bows on their menu. They're like softer, fluffier tacos, kind of. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you can go get food through Yucca Tap Room, order that for also takeout, dine-in, all that kind of stuff, with mask, all that stuff. Uh, plus, you can get a growler, get some of those awesome craft beers that you usually stock on the craft side, which I think is, what is that? That's the west side of Yucca, if you weren't sure. But yeah, they have like usually 30 up there, and I think there's a website you can go check what they do have available too, or just do it over the phone, grab their number, order through them, help them that way too. So, multiple ways to go support, and really cool, you know, ways to get your stomach filled, and maybe a little your drink on, that kind of stuff. Um, let's see, a few other things that are out there. It's Crew Nation Global Relief Fund. You can still go donate to that. That's for any music crews, uh, staff that have applied and made it during their window period. They're basically distributing it at, accordingly as donated. And then, yeah, Music Care's Coronavirus Relief Fund, which is set up by the Grammy Foundation. That's for musicians that are missing out on Monday. You can go donate and they'll distribute to those that have applied. And that one still should have an email you can get a hold of and try to get in if you are a musician, but might get a little more money on it so yeah those are some ways you can go support your favorite musicians and bands and yeah i mean anything helps for everyone right now so but yeah you're here also you're like well fuck what else there's gotta be stuff i can like watch right now right there's streams going on music there's still music going on and i'm like yes there is and there's some awesome stuff even though we're past st patrick's day there is awesome festival this weekend actually and a st patrick's day kind of three days after like little thing and some other stuff littered in here. Really cool. So let's get right into it tonight, Friday. We've got Bridge City Fest night one. And this one's featuring the Drowns. The Lucky Egypts are on it now. Uh, Land of the Wolves, Potbelly, Avenues, Kids on Fire. I just, I think I put it on there just because that's just fun to say. A Generation Decline and more over on the Bridge City Fest Facebook and on their YouTube starting at 4.30 p.m. So it's going right now. Going to like midnight. So you got all night to go check that out. 
uh, Matney Cook. She's got her single release for Love of Mine, and that's going to be tonight at 7. She's streaming to celebrate. So you can go catch her awesome music. We got Wheelwright. You know, you might recognize that name because he once was part of this band. Uh, Jared in the Mill. Uh, so he streams on his Twitch, Wheelwright, which is W-R-I-G-H-T. Uh, 7 p.m. always there Friday. And then Scott Kloffenstein, episode number 99. He's going to be hitting 100 coming up. And I'll, I'll, I'll mention it again when it happens here. But, yeah, 9 p.m. you go tune in, watch Scott. You know, once of a real big fish, but also some awesome, cool single stuff that from his solo work. Like, go check that out. Really cool. And just really happy. I'll just go watch him. So definitely can kind of weave in and out of all these streams. And then right into Saturday, where we got Bridge City Fest Day 2, starting again at 4.30 p.m. Uh, it's featuring Days and Days. You would have been Horan, Anti-Vision, Desert Island Boys, Brian McPherson, Dead at Midnight, Ricky, which Ricky is uh, from Western settings there we go i think i got my western right uh and then yeah more that's over on the bridge city facebook and youtube channel starting at 4 30 p.m and then yeah there's a saint patrick's day stream still here featuring 1916 which you haven't caught 1916 they're fucking awesome i caught them here in phoenix last time they came through uh so you can go check them out on 1916 band is the youtube channel starting at 4 p.m so really cool. And plus, yeah, Kepi Gooley doing the Kepi show every Saturday starting at 9 a.m. I got to fix. I was like, I realized this is the one that made it through my notes. But 9 a.m. now that we're back on the same time as Pacific Coast time, which all these times are Arizona time, which right now is Mountain Standard time because we didn't adjust it, which is equal with Pacific Daylight time to further confuse you um, <laughs> with verbiage. But yeah. So you can go check out Kepi Ghoulie, wake up with another one of the happiest people and up just like, ah, oh, if you wake up, he'll make you happy. He'll make you smile. It's really cool. Uh, so yeah, there's that. And then Sunday, we roll into night three of Bridge City Fest. This one featuring second best, Jess, Josiah, Joshua, Joshua, Marshall, Dylan Disaster within the pyre, our own Rufus Jr., which actually, if you haven't checked out on the Instagram, I posted some band pics of them, so Really cool. Got to mask up and take pictures of that band for the first time here out of Phoenix. Uh, let's see. What else? While I'm distracted, uh, we got Fight Against the Sun and then, yeah, more starting at 4.30 p.m. once again over there. Plus, while you're kind of weaving in and out, you can go catch Carter Drive Sessions featuring Haley Green this week at 7 p.m. on Sunday. So, yeah, fucking. And Haley is amazing if you haven't. She sometimes also performs with Mr. Mr. Incommunicado. We're going to get this incommunicado. Got it. Got it. Uh, but yeah, so she's going to be doing her stuff there on Carter Rive Sessions Week. So really cool. Then Monday nights are kind of your normal dose of a case of the Mondays with Sydney Sprague over at 7 p.m. on her Twitch. We've got AJJ on their Instagram around 730 usually. And then, yes, yeah, I cloth and sign episode 100. Um, <laughs> you can go catch on his Twitch starting at 9 p.m. as he celebrates 100. He's been boasting some really cool stuff, and it sounds like there's been some really cool skits and stuff they put together, so this is going to be fucking cool, I think. So, yeah, that 9 p.m., tune in for that. Then Tuesday, always the other normals, is Devin K. Twitches, you know, direct hit and of the solutions over on his Twitch, Devin K. Twitches, uh, 7 p.m., and... Now it's overlapping because of all the time zone stuff. But you can go catch Cooking with Snail Meat. They cook some delectable dish, make you just salivate until you realize I can make that too because I'm watching them make it and they're giving me instructions. But you can go tune in on their Twitch on Snail Meat, 7 p.m. also. And then Wednesday is another night they get wheel right, you know, of Jared in the Mill. That's on his Twitch at 7 p.m. Thursdays, we got Jenny Yo and Young's doing a performance over on nooncorus.com. Slash Jenny dash Owen dash Youngs, uh, 5 p.m. You can go pick up a ticket and watch her excellent music there. Uh, plus, Devin K Twitches, 7 p.m. over on his Twitch, Chris Murray's Blue Bee live stream on his Facebook, 5 p.m. And I apologize, Chris, I fell asleep on my couch yesterday. Uh, but yeah, and then yeah, Snailmate, they do their video game night this night on their Twitch at 7 p.m. also. You can go catch them play some video game while Bentley paints his face something related to the video game. So, all fun stuff. You can't go wrong. And then we roll right into next Friday, the 26th. And that includes the Aqua Dolls are doing performance over on URSalive.com slash 
the dash aquadals 6 p.m you can go tune in and watch their performance and q a if i read that right so you can go check that out plus normal staples we got will Wright on his twitch 7 p.m and we got scott Kloffenstein on his twitch 9 p.m celebrating 101 now He'll be, he's three digits how about that fucking awesome but yeah there's always music there's always streams it's not as centralized as it used to be with when we had 30 venues or so that you could just check and be like all right who's playing tonight all right let's just go drive over there but really cool things that you can go do first off like AJJ is on the schedule now i've made sure of this <laughs> but they do usually stream twice a week i want to say it's usually thursdays but i was looking at the schedule and it kind of varies so so just keep an eye on their social media when they're going live it's always on instagram and then they'll actually share it over to their youtube so you can check that out at your own leisure uh dan pot has jumps on adam blaylock evening the score chris fox uh we got playboy man baby continuously killing the social media stuff uh, I've got Brian Mogul doing his usual streams, Ross and Reese, like, uh, man, I'm trying to think there's more. I know there's more. But yeah, the easiest way, of course, is just oh, if you're feeling like I could really go for some music, open up your Instagram, scroll to the top, see who's live. Sometimes it's Q&A, sometimes it's more. And either way, it's just fun to talk with some of your favorite artists, too. Like some of them weren't usually as accessible because they're either like got to get back on the road or just because of the way the venue operates. So these are some of your opportunities to go just chat with some of your favorite people. Plus, maybe they are playing live, and that's even better. Like you, Adam Ben Horn. Uh, there's another one. I was like, I'm trying to come up with more. I've watched plenty. And of course, if they are going to be streaming, they're going to be promoting it. So go, if there's someone that you're like, he didn't mention him, I wonder if. Go onto their social media. They'll probably be promoting if they're streaming coming up. And get an eye of it then. Like, I sometimes miss MXPX ones. I'll try to catch most of them. Those I usually see. But regardless, yeah. So there's that kind of stuff. But hopefully you guys were safe. If you did go out for St. Patrick's Day, you were safe about it, masked up and all that. And regardless, just mask up if you have to go out. Of course, wash your hands regularly. Hand sanitize if you can't get near um, washing your hands for a little period. And yeah, just keep safe. Hopefully you guys do stay safe. And uh, I want to see you in the chat rooms if I'm going to say I saw, I did see someone in uh, the Murphy's Law stream. So I, I am seeing some of you guys in there. So really cool. But yeah, until next week, guys, take care.